Just in case they ain't get the picture the first time around. You can tell everybody, go ahead and tell everybody, I'm the man, I'm the man. Damn, for the man up, I'm finna try to get these 26 inch tires in here. I should have drove the truck, but I might be able to get them in here. Probably put one in the trunk, get the rest on the inside. But we gonna see. Third brake lights. Got a lot of Landi trim. Got the old Lexan back there. Gonna get these tires loaded up. Also got the wheel wheel brakes. Create ones up here. Well, I got them in here. Two in the trunk. Seat. Let's go man up. Drop off. Made it up here with the ties. Waiting on Damon to pull up. Got the wheels back. I've been having them back for a while. I just ain't made a video. Been too busy. Got the land out here. I believe I'm gonna roll them out and put them up against the car. Maybe we can get a look and see how they gonna look somewhat. I can go ahead and test fit them. I want everybody to get down in the comment section if y'all would like for me to test fit them because I'm going to take them back off and until I get everything done like I want it, then I'll put them on. But I will test fit them. Just let me know. Get down in the comment section. But let me roll them out here so we can see. Get a look at them. That's them sitting up against the car right here. Five inch lip in the back. Front got a two inch lip. But I will jack it on up, put them up under there and test them. I ain't got no problem with that. But like I said, they're coming right back off. Let me pop the hood. I'm going to show you everything what I'm going to do to it because I'm taking this motor back out. Show you the inside. Interior, everything getting redone in it. But it's in good shape to be an 86. I ain't got no headline up here though, but I'm putting a panoramic in. So I ain't worrying about that. We got manual wonders. I'm going with power wonders. Let me crack it up.
this one. I'm gonna change these pipes up in the back. I'm gonna have turn downs. These is already on there when I got it, so. I'm gonna have them turn it down. Look at that, also you can hit me. Which is going, it's gonna be a different color. And I'm gonna take the mold out because I'm gonna put a cam in it, and plus I wanna change my oil pan. Because the oil pan is on it, it got a remote filter in the filter right here. I just want to clean up a lot of this. I'm going to put the computer on the inside. So that's why I'm going to take the motor out. And I don't like these headers here because they done turned, they done rusted out. I'm going to get some ceramic coated, ceramic coated headers. And what else? I got to get some more lifters because I think one of my lifters ticking so I done bought some I just ain't put them on that's really the main thing my headers and my oil pan and my lifters so that's why I'm gonna take them the whole motor out and redo it plus I'm gonna paint the in the fender wheels and my fry wall I got a new evaporator and a new condenser my whole AC unit is gonna be new because my dry new and compress and everything. I just ain't put it on yet because like I said, everything coming up. Don't get me wrong, I like I like everything how it is for us. The drivability. I just wanna change up some cosmetic stuff mainly. Like I'm gonna paint all this here. My radiator core support. And I'm thinking about changing the colors up on here too because the car going candy and I'm gonna have I'm gonna have a little red in it because I got my my brake calipers they they're gonna be red and my top gonna be red but I really ain't decided a hundred percent yet and as you know I got the Tierra grill what else I gotta redo these rocker panels because the car came from Chicago and y'all know how the Saudi is up there that will eat up the rocker panels. That's the only thing really that's rusted out, the rocker panels. Let me take you on the inside here. I was trying to straighten this out up in here so I can show you everything I got. At least some of the stuff. For us to paint. So I got some paint here. It's my panoramic going in it. Uh, amps and stuff. Brakes. I go to rock panels here. But let me. I guess I'm gonna try to put this stand up. This stand up and put everything up on that. Then I can show you more. This is my cutlass here. I'm using it as a work table right now. It's an 84. And y'all know the Cadillac back there. I had painted that years ago. But let me go ahead and set up a table so I can show you. First, we'll start off with the motor components. And these are my LS7 lifters and the trays. Got these from eBay. And I paid $189 somewhere along there. On some of these prices I might be off a little bit but it's somewhere in the range. 189 for the lifters and trays. This is my cam shaft. It's a stage 2 truck cam by Brian Tooley. And the uh, springs. I got these off eBay. Well, no I didn't. It wasn't from eBay. It was online. I forgot the uh, company. AMC Racing. That's what it was. AMC Racing. But it came straight from Brian Tooley. But I bought them through AMC Racing. Let me take it out the box. I'll show it to you. I paid, I believe, $4.20 for this. These are the springs here. 
I ain't gonna take this camera out the pack because it got oil in it. But you get the picture. It's for stage two truck cam, Gen 3 and Gen 4 LS applications. This here, my GM muscle car oil pan. My oil pan, the reason why I'm going with this oil pan because the the oil filter is on the bottom of the oil pan. See my oil pan, I got a remote oil filter and I'm just trying to clean it up so I'm going with this in here. I'm going to show you the part number. I think I paid $240 somewhere long enough for this oil pan. But this is the part number here. One nine two one two five nine three. Now we can move to the fuel system. My fuel pump is mounted on my frame. It's not in the tank. I got a ninety six Impala gas tank. It's a plastic gas tank. I already on that. But I'm gonna put it on the inside. So I had ordered a ninety six Impala sending unit. I'm gonna take this fuel pump out. Got a Warbro fuel pump here. I'm just gonna switch the pumps out. Then I'd be good on that. I got a Wix filter, my AN fittings, my wrench, wrenches, and uh, braided hose. Now I'm not real sure on the price on this here because I had ordered this a while back, but I think. Delta power was about $49. I think this was $89. Wildborough fuel pump. My sending unit. It probably was $89 too. I had ordered all this off eBay from different companies. I don't I can't even recall on the braided lines how much they cost and the fittings. They was different prices. Rents is probably eight dollars a piece. That's just an estimate because I'm not real sure. Guess we'll move on to the interior of the car. Well, this ain't really interior, but guess we're going to put it on the interior. This is a remote start and alarm. And I got this, I can't recall how much I paid for it, but I got it off eBay. It was somewhere along hundred and some dollars. I'm not going to quote it because I could be wrong. But it's pretty nice. And I'm going to be installing all this stuff too. I'm going to have videos of me doing it. So I will have videos. Two remotes. But I ain't going to take all this out, but you get the picture of what it is. It's a crime stopper. It's the SP502. And the reason why I got this one here, I had seen uh, STL Box 7. He had one. And I went with it because of his video. Next is the Dakota Digital. It's the VHX. It ain't the new one like Money Making. Money Making just got the new one. I would have went with that, but I ain't got the big money like Money Making, so I'm gonna have to deal with the VHX. Shout out to Money Making. Y'all go check him out. He's doing his thing. I haven't even opened this here up, so I'm gonna have to put the camera down and open it up so I can show it to you. Got it open. Can't really tell what it's gonna be looking like until it's lit up. But I went with red because everything in my interior is gonna be red on my lights. But it come with, I guess this is the manual and stuff. I'm hooking it up. I'm not sure. I ain't open it up. Like I said, it's my first time opening it. I done had it for probably a year. Control box. And 
these are all the fittings to get the reading. But a lot of this stuff I'm not going to need because I had ordered the BIM 01-2. You hook this up straight to the computer and you get all your readings straight from the computer. You ain't got to run separate wires to like the, the oil and all that, you know, the temp. You get your reading from the computer. And that's what this is for. Like I said, on these prices, don't quote me because it's been a while since I ordered. But I think this was like $150 just for this here. Might be $180. Somewhere along now. And this digital dash, it was, uh, when I got it, I think it was $780. But now I see prices about $800. So, this is what I got. But I think this is going to work out real good, hooking it up straight to the computer. This is just a lot of miscellaneous stuff I had got over time. Like my switches. This is a stainless switch with a red light. It's a black switch, red light. Got some small ones here. Also here. I'm going to build a center console. Put these in it. Got a red light also. These are LED strips. It's for my tail lights. It you can speed up the blink. You can make it go slower, faster. So got these here for that. Some relays. Just different stuff I had got over time. Some of this stuff I forgot what it was. Like this here. Or what this here? steering control. I think I got that for my lawn to hook up something to it. Yeah, I think I got this to let my windows down by the lawn. Yeah, that's what this for. These are for my power windows. Like I said, when I was in the car, I got manual windows. And I'm going to go with power windows, so I had got a kit. And don't give me the land on the price because, like I said, it's been a while since I bought this here, and I don't actually know how much it costs, but I got it off eBay. And I also got some power door locks, poppers, and this is for the trunk, power trunk, but I'm not going to go with this here. I think I'm just going to go to the yard and get one off of Caprice that I already got a power trunk. That's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to put this on something else or just save it. It'll be a lot easier doing it like that. This is my new evaporator. Can't remember how much this costs. Probably about seven dollars. This is the condenser here. I think it was one twenty. I ain't gonna take it out the box though. This here is the Rooty Wheel, custom made, Sprayway Customs, stamped on it. I'll be making a video of me installing this pretty soon, so be on the lookout for it. This is my TR grill here, custom made for Sprayway Customs. I got the red light. I got a video of me installing it on the box I had posted a while back but these here run I think this series here run uh, about 1600 for the grill but you're gonna have to pay more to get get your name in it so you're looking at somewhere along it's about 1800 to $2,000 but they did a good job on it though shout out to TR These are my headlight bezels. I'm going with the Euro lights. I got the 86 clip. It's the Euro clip, it just don't got the Euro lights in it. These are my side markers. Let me take you out and show you. I'm gonna go with the Euro lights. 
See, the eight, 86 is the only clip like this. But the only thing I'm keeping, I'm going to have to probably do some fab work, fab, uh, fiberglass work. I'm going to keep my emblem like this here. I like that. All the other clips got the emblem sitting at the top. I just want to go to Euro Lights. Okay. But that's why I got these here. I just got to pick up some more lights. Then I'll be good. I guess we're going to do the suspension stuff now. This is your mind. The real. I think I'm going to have to put the camera down because I'm going to have to open it up for you. But this is the real. The upper and lower rear control arm. And let me try to think how much I paid for it. Ah, I don't know. To be honest with you. Hold up. Well, let me open it up. I might. I might. It might have the price in here. Let me open everything up. Well, this one no packing slip. It was just some instructions. So, I'm not real sure on the price. Because it's been a while. I had bought this a little bit after I had got the car. But I'm thinking it was somewhere along three fifty, or It might be four fifty. But I got the upper and lower as I said. The upper adjustable but the lower not. Good quality. I think this is gonna look real nice in between the wheels. That's why I got open you know the faces open so you can see the suspension and the brakes. But I think that's gonna look real nice. I guess we're going to move on to the suspension parts now. These are my upper front A arms, control arms, tubular, three A ones. And they was 449.95. The lower, they're going to be separate unless you buy a whole kit. But I bring the lower up now. This the lower. The lower more expensive than the upper. These was six ninety nine. I got these from Jigs because Summit I would have had to wait because they didn't have them in stock, so I ordered them from Jigs. But these were six ninety nine. Get all the hardware come with. Guess we're gonna move on to the coil was. These are my rear adjustable coilovers. I think I paid $440 for the rear and a little bit more for the front. The front, I think they were $600. But this is the part numbers for the rear. RCK52383. This is the front. GS507-10650C. Shout out to Stater Steezo. He got something on his box, and when I seen his, I knew I had to have something. Y'all go check him out also. It's the hardware. Different little pieces there. Not sure what it all is, but we'll figure it out once we get ready to install them. This is the front here. Basically look like the, the rear, except the spring a lot bigger. These are my rear wheel wood brakes. I got the uh, e-brake system set up. Let's put the e-brake. Oh, here, I ain't going to take it out. You can't see it. But that's for my e-brake. It's the brake pads here. I got the four piston calibers. This the rotor for the rear. Slide it in drill. Some of the hardware here. But I know how much I paid for the rear. Got the price right here. Eight seventy seven forty nine. 
I think the front was somewhere along the same place. I'm not really sure. I can't find that receipt. But I bring the front up now. The front a little bit different setup than the rear. You got a hood and brackets. You have to put the hood together. Put it on the rotor. It's slotted and drilled also. Calibers, four pistons. And the mountain hardware. Like I said, we'll figure all this out when it comes time. This is some more wood wood stuff I had got. But I had to purchase all this separate. Well, this ain't wood wood here. This is the proportion of air. This is what I was telling my boy over there. Life with the Ikes. This is what you're going to need for your brakes here. This this to this. Because on the original box Chevy, it's this and drum. So you're going to need a this to this. And I think this guy here was one. Ebony. But you can get something cheaper than this off eBay. I got this one coming. With the chrome finish. And this my master cylinder. I think it was 180 also. Just different little parts in here. The bench bleed it. Then I got some stainless steel braided lines. You connect these from your hard line to your brakes. I think these was forty dollars a piece. Now we're gonna move to the paint. This the paint I'm going with, but you never know. I might change my mind before I even paint it. But this house of color, voodoo violet. Gonna be voodoo violet candy that's the reducer activator it's the base it's a silver base it's the more reducer okay here's the clear you know spray we're gonna go with something special as the clear so I decided to go with this grant seven shout out to Cortez over there Cortez resto my him and Grant Seven blessed me with his plane here. You know, good people look out for good people. And look what he got here. Thank you for your support, Grant Seven, at buycustompaint.com. Y'all go give him a following over there, Grant Seven Paint and Coatings. Y'all go check out some of his products. But he definitely got these things wrapped up. I'm gonna have to put down the camera once again to get them open. Y'all wait one second. Got the packs unwrapped. Grant Seven Paints and Coatings at buycustompaint.com off the gun greatness. Yes, indeed. I haven't sprayed this Grant Seven yet, but I done seen a lot of my fellow YouTubers spray it. Like my boy True Grit Customs, Far Away, Tweet G Customs, Underground Paint King. I done seen all of them spread, but I haven't had a chance to spray it yet, so I'm going to give my chance on my personal build. So y'all be looking out for it. Scan to subscribe. YouTube. Grant Seven Paints and Colors. Look like the only thing left would be the sound system. I haven't really decided and bought stuff for it yet because that's going to be the last thing I do. But these are some amps I just had over time. As you can see, number five skate. I'm a five skate and kicker man. I'm going to have some kicker LSMs and some five skates. Cause I'm old school, you know. I had ever since like 1993, I had a Punch 150 and a Punch 75. Ever since then, I just been rocking with fire skate, and I had some kicks too back then. What you can see here, I think this, yeah, this is a four channel app here, fire skate. It's a Punch 900 four channel. This is a power. Let me see what this is here. 
power 1000 BD. Them powers too up here. Been sitting in some dust. <laughs> but I ain't really decided on the system yet. But you know I'm gonna come up with something. Stay tuned, YouTube. Appreciate the support. Stop. Right from the bottom to the top, from the top.